All right. Good afternoon, young man. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Good. Uh, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself to everybody. Oh, uh, I'm Rico Walker, uh, sophomore at Acre High. Yeah, so Rico, I was practically in the middle of my introduction when you were ready to go, so I just went ahead and brought you home. But, uh, you know, everyone watching, this is a very talented young man I um, saw for the first time at a camp over the summer. Uh, went up and made an incredible catch, and um, as he was laying on the ground, he got a little banged up, and I said, Man, what is your name, and where do you go to school? <laughs> and he told me, and I said, oh, my gosh, I got to, you know, learn more about this young man. So, you know, ever since then, you know, you've just kind of blown up, and you just, you know, released a nice-looking graphic with your first five schools that have offered you. Um, how do you feel about all this recruiting attention you're getting? Uh, it's crazy, and it was a shocker. I wouldn't expect it, but you get it this early at all. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just being a sophomore, you had, you know, one year at Hickory, and uh, you play wide receiver and outside linebacker. So I want to ask you, uh, do you prefer offense or defense better? Basically, well, if you don't got me playing both sides of the ball, you're missing a piece. So, like, I don't really got no, I don't got no favorite like, side of the ball. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good, man. Um, so let's talk about offense first. Obviously, with your height, you can go up and high point the football um, at the receiver position. Uh, what do you think your strengths are as a wide receiver? I'm explosive. Uh, I got some sneaky speed that a lot of people don't know about. And, yeah, I'm powerful. I agree. I definitely agree, man. So then flip it over on defense, playing outside linebacker. Uh, what do you think your strengths are on the defensive side of football? Uh, especially my, my length. Uh, I'm quick, versatile, explosive, stuff like that. Absolutely. So looking at your highlight film, man, it's obvious one thing that stands out about you, you are not afraid of contact. So <laughs> uh, how does it feel like when you're coming up making some big hits on uh, defense and then on offense, you know, going out and blocking in the run game, things like that? Oh, I, I, I don't mind much. Uh, I've always been like love contact person. Mm -hmm. It's you not know, phase me really. Yeah, and it's always good when you see your film, you know, kind of reflect what you say. And that it definitely does that, man. Uh, let's step back a little bit. Start out. Um, what made you want to play football in the first place? Um, well, first, my dad's playing semi pro when I was about like two years old, and mm -hmm. I was like him watching play football. Then, uh, got a little bit older. My brother was doing a summer workout, so he played for Saint, and I was just on the field one all the time. So I just pit up a football and just roll with it. Awesome. Awesome. Good deal. So have you always been kind of like a skill guy? Did you play something else when you were growing up? Or? No. Uh, I used to play online and D-line. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you miss those days? No. Um, I mean, <laughs> it was great. I mean, I was actually like pretty talented at the, at the positions. I mean, mm -hmm. I would not, I wouldn't like, like to go back to that, but I was, I was getting through that. No, oh, good deal. Good deal, man. Uh, talk to me. Do you model your game on the offensive side or defense side of the ball um, compared to anyone in the NFL, in your opinion? Well, on the offensive side, people try to call me Baby DK. A lot. I see that in the comment right there. <laughs> people like to call me that. But on um, defensive side of the ball, sort of like a, a – what's his name? Matt, Khalil Matt. People like to say I feel like him. Huh? Okay, that's a heck of a comparison. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You like you like rushing the quarterback from the linebacker spot? Yeah, for sure. Good deal. Good deal, man. Um, in your opinion, just overall, what is the best thing you do on the field? Uh, show my athleticism. A lot of people be, like, amazed about that and show, like, how hard I hit. Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting that just because, like, on the field, I don't look as big. I don't know what field they're looking at. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Um, so what's one thing, in your opinion, you think you need to work on and kind of improve upon in your game? Um, being more flexible. I'm not flexible at all. Like, mm -hmm. at all. Especially, uh, uh, really, I need to work on you know, getting faster, for sure. Mm -hmm. and, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that's an incredible uh, recognition because you're only a sophomore. And a lot of people don't think about, you know, being flexible as a, a thing that they need to improve on. But, I mean, it helps you make some of those incredible plays on the field. So yeah, for sure. it's a good good um, recognition right there. 
Um, so let's talk about you off the field. What do you like to do in your spare time when you're away from football, away from the weight room, things like that? I was, I should be chilling, like really, like chilling with some of my friends, and I chill with family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes like I like to like go out, be in nature, and stuff like that. Just go outside. Okay. Okay, good deal, man. Good deal. Um, who's your favorite NFL team? I don't got one, but I, I for sure got players, though. Okay, so, all right, some favorite, favorite players of yours? Um, Kyle Duggar, just because he played at LR. Um, mm -hmm. Cam, I'm going to say Jalen Ramsey. Okay, okay, good deal. I got a comment that says you get cooked in 2K. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I was playing my 707 coach, and I wasn't used to the shot meter, so... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna leave that alone, and that's all right. <laughs> uh, do you listen to any music before games? And if you do, what's your favorite song? I like to listen to Rollo on like Raw Way. Okay, yeah, that's what, what kind of mood does that put you in? It's just a chill move, Bob. Because, like, before games, I always like, I always got a nervous feeling, no matter like who I'm playing, I always got a nervous feeling, so I always try mm -hmm. to keep, like, calm down. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Excellent, man. So, out of those schools right now, would it be too early to say you have a favorite out of that group, or are you just still trying to gather information on those schools? Uh, I'm still trying to gather information. I'll keep everybody like, level headed right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and for, uh, for sure, uh, I do got some other people that's like very interested in me. They're waiting for, definitely see me in the spring. So, I'm keeping everything level headed. That's a good point because, you know, COVID-19 has just kind of messed up how we normally do recruiting. So that's a good question. What what have you done to kind of stay ready for the upcoming season with COVID-19? It's been, it's been a struggle, like, because there'll be, like, probably, like, two weeks I can get in the weight room. Then, like, next two, I probably won't be able to get into it. Or mm -hmm. sometimes I get people to go to the field and sometimes I might not be able to. So it's been right. a struggle for sure. Like, it's been a real struggle. Exactly, and it's we're all trying to you know deal with it the best way we can. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you your opinion about all the social injustice that's been going on in the world over the past few months, the uh, protests and just the tip, just the, the racial unrest going on. What's your opinion on, on all of that? It, it sort it sort of threw me off because like I had some white folks that helped my dad raise me, so like it threw me off a lot, especially mm -hmm. seeing people with true colors now. Like it's it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. It, you get to learn a lot about people, you know. The, the one thing we hope we can do is just kind of, you know, do the best we can and, and make change, you know, where we can. So, yeah, um, that's that's a good point. Um, who would you like to thank for your football success so far? My coaches, for sure. But um, mainly, my big supporter is my girl. Like she's been supporting me a lot recently. Mm -hmm. been going on but more important like my pops like he's never really he's never really forced football on me like he's never like made me go work out it was also because like nobody had to tell me to go work out and do this and do that and so like I've never really had nobody like I, I definitely have support but nobody had to push me to do anything that's wow that's awesome that's awesome especially you know I'll tell you you see kids like you, 6'4", 215, walk around school on campus, and everyone's looking at you like, hey, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? You need to come in, you can do this, you need to do that. That's refreshing. That's refreshing, man. That's awesome. So that's something that you truly love. That, yeah. That's a, and like, one from, like, people tend to say, like, there's no, there's nothing in Hickory, like, there's no talent. But it really is. It's just the kids that around there don't really got no grit or got no, like, want to in them. So that's mm -hmm. they don't really go nowhere. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we always believe that there's talent everywhere. And, yeah, um, sure. you know, it, it doesn't matter, you know, where you're from. So what you make of what you have inside of you. So, you know, those coaches and your family supporting you and what you want to do, that's that's awesome, man. That's really awesome. Uh, what's your best memory playing high school football so far? Um, the, like, the best memory was of adjusting to high school football. Like, my first scrimmage, I ain't gonna cap. I was timid. I was real timid. I didn't know what was gonna happen, what was going on. Mm -hmm. I got a couple of cracks in, and I was just, I was just straight after that, and especially lifting with my teammates. Uh, it was a different feeling, especially lifting, period. Like, it was a different feeling. Really preparing mm -hmm. myself for high school and the next level. 
Awesome, awesome, good stuff, man. It's good to get those experiences when you're young, so now you know what to expect. Yeah, um, okay. Also, and get to play varsity too. It was, it was a different experience involved. Like it was totally different. Awesome, awesome. So, you know, your school at Hickory. What can you guys do to um, have a great season this upcoming year in the spring? Man, if we can get everybody in the weight room, get everybody to make it to these little workouts we have, we'd be perfect. We got a lot of talent. We we sort of undersized. But we got a lot of athleticism, a lot of speed. But if everybody played their part, we'd be fine. Excellent. That's spoken like a leader right there as a sophomore. That's that's refreshing, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now we've got a number of people watching live right now, and we're gonna have a lot of people that watch this after it's done and it's posted in different places. Uh, what would you like to say to the people that are watching and supporting you right now? Um, I appreciate y'all for everything, especially my seven on seven team, man. They've been. They've been crazy supportive, and I never had no uh, uh, my like teammates really being that supportive, except for like a couple of seniors last year that really kept me like level headed. But my mm -hmm. seven on team been really like supporting me a lot. That's awesome, man. That's awesome because it, you know, to have success in football is a team sport. I mean, it's yeah, not sure. like basketball where you can score thirty points a game and be the star and, and carry a team. I mean, it yeah, takes sure. a team. So having that support system is a is a great thing, man. It really is. Um, hey, Elder, hey, Coach, hey, chill out, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, hey, that's part of that support system we're talking about right there. That's yeah. good. And Coach, good Jay, he's, he's been like, he's been keeping me level headed too. He's been, he checks me a lot, especially like if I'm like goofing off, like he checked me real quick. And like, mm -hmm. I, I appreciate that from him too because, like, at the end of the day, a lot of people, like I said, look at me differently because I got this and got that. They want to learn from me, especially the freshmen that come in. They ask me a lot of questions. So mm -hmm. he'd be checking me on stuff like that, and I appreciate him for that. Excellent. Excellent, man. Uh, my last question is, uh, do you have any role models? Yeah, my brother, but he passed away. My brother, um, he, he, so, he, um, he really showed me how to, like, uh, like, live life for real and, like, watch out, like, who your friends is. He just taught, he just showed me how to, like, to live life for real, for real. Man, he's anyone that really got me into football. Oh wow! Yeah, okay, so, and, and um, that's why I re that's the reason why I wear number eight. A lot of people ask me why I like eight. I wear number eight because he used to wear it, and I like even when I used to make Madden characters, I used to put number eight on my Madden mm -hmm. characters because like I looked up to my brother so much. So that's wonderful, man. I'm sorry for your loss. As well, yeah. Um, did he play football too? Yeah, he played. He played football. He played football for St. Stevens, dog, across the road from Hickory. Okay. Good deal, man. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, Rico, man, this was a pleasure. I love to, you know, talk to you, get to know you a little bit. Um, very articulate young man. You know, three more years at the high school level. I think you're going to do some really, really big things up at Hickory. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, absolutely. And uh, hopefully we can get up there and see you uh, in person this spring. Yes, sir. Appreciate the time, man. Thanks for coming on with us. Yes, sir.